We're gonna see if this uh, piece of coral that I got in Miami uh, reacts at all with this sulfuric water. Holy crap, did you guys see that? What's up team, I'm coming to you from Bali, Indonesia. I came all the way out to Indonesia to explore some of the world's craziest science mysteries. One of them is that Indonesia is home to the world's largest acidic lake. Uh, it sits inside of Mount Ijen, it's a volcano called Ijen, um, and a bunch of sulfur is just coming out of this uh, volcano, and it's combining with uh, some water that is sitting in the crater, and it's creating sulfuric acid. Um, the pH of the lake is 0.5, uh, which is it as acidic, it's more acidic than battery acid. So I wanted to perform a little test to see, uh, is it really that acidic? Um, you know, will it behave like battery acid? And I did this all this with my best friend, Mike Capetta. Um, we had to take planes, trains, and automobiles to get here. But the experiment that we did uh, with this coral at Mount Ijen is super cool. I think you guys are really gonna like it. Check it out. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if this uh, piece of coral that I got in Miami uh, reacts at all with this sulfuric water. Holy crap, did you guys see that? Holy crap, I'm gonna do it again. Wow, holy crap, look at that reaction. That is some really acidic water. I'm just gonna dump, I'm gonna just toss the whole thing in there. Here we go. What? And the, the, the acidic water is just eroding it away. That is some legit, really acidic water. That thing's gonna be gone here in a couple minutes. Proof, uh, that water is extremely acidic. That um, little piece of coral that I got in Miami, totally toast, gonzo. Nothing left of it. Okay, so what you're seeing in that is this. Uh, the sulfuric acid, which is what the lake is made of, um, is combining with the calcium carbonate and it's turning into water, CO2, and calcium sulfate. Calcium sulfate is actually is what is used uh, in drywall, so it makes the walls that your house is made out of. Um, and the, the fizzing that looked like Alka-Seltzer, that was the CO2 that was being given off. Um, we actually left the coral in there uh, for almost 30 minutes. When I came back, it was totally gone. Uh, so the lake had completely dissolved it to nothing. More science mysteries to come from Indonesia, this Indonesia trip. Um, if you guys if you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, were you so surprised, were you super surprised that uh, the coral reacted the way it did in this acidic lake, the world's largest acidic lake. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.